I don't know what future me will call this deck. Because I, in Duelings, I call it level 2. But I don't know what... I don't call it Malfia Jamas or just call level 2 beasts. I think it's just kind of call, considering level, just calling it level 2 beasts. Because it's not just Malfias and not just Ojamas. But anyway. I should consider the, the, the Raccoon uh, XC's monsters in there too. And also, there's a Synchro and there's a, a couple of Synchros in there. I think, I think Brianak is in there. <laughs> because, well... I, I think I want Brianak being there because like... You know that, that one deer on the, the second from the left? That's a tuner. So, um... And granted, like, it didn't need to be a tuner just to take a secret summon because it does other things too. But, um... Yeah, I mean, if I didn't have a tuner, I might as well have a synchro. Is what I'm saying. So, anyway... So we're going to a very classic match here. Jaden versus the Chaz. And... I don't know if Jaden here is aspiring to get Elemental Hero Terra Firma in this. But I think I probably should have checked. Anyway, Tan Tan. I like Tan I should really like Tan Tan. Not only is Tan Tan cute, but also it uh, can special summon stuff from deck. Which is kind of insane. And because like considering the special summon from de the deck is this guy, as I mentioned earlier in the last video from it, it just it just yeets out uh you just yeast out something when it's, you know, some summoned. Again, very, very helpful uh, to have. Because I, I remember seeing this, like, when I was, well, I remember seeing, like, uh, this in uh, early, like, Duel Links. Like, or not early Duel Links, like, when I first played Duel Links. Like, I figured, like, that's kind of a weird, you know, thing to actually use. It's kind of hard to figure out how to play. But anyway, but I started to figure out how to actually play this guy. Or probably, you know, play this little fun. And then here we go. Oh, here we go. I guess we're I guess we're exceeding something again. I thought I was gonna say I it was like we're synchroing, but no, we're actually exceeding. So I believe we're going we're seizing into Melfi Mommy because the there's a raccoon synchro that just only takes two. But anyway, try to once again to to pull the strategy of getting enough materials to do some do some crazy nonsense. Now luckily luckily for luckily for me, uh, Melfi Mommy can actually use her. Uh, to use her effect on the opponent's turn. Yeah, it's a quick effect. This is kind of cool. And the funny and the fun, I'm actually kind of glad that my opponent like actually reads because I was like, usually when I uh, throw out Melvin Mommy, like people don't know how to read, like or rather they don't notice that it's battle invincible. It's, it's, it's immune to battle. Look at that. It's kind of insane. But even though Melfi Mommy can't destroy anything, Melfi Mommy does still do effect damage, so... I believe there's some occasional missions in uh, Duel Links where you need to take effect damage. This is a good... I want to say it's a great you know, way to start doing effect damage for, for quests. Honestly, I think stuff like... Uh, Flame Wingman is better. Or even Shiny Flare Wingman, but like, it's... If you don't want to kill, and you just want to do a tech damage, that's a good option. It's slow, slow but surely, but it's it's a thing that's happening. Especially if you got the FU card and you just throw it to your opponent's monster, and then you just go absolutely nonsense with it. That would be funny. But anyway. So yeah, with, like, I got a battle with Noon Monster, and, uh, you know, I got two, like, two set monsters now. Now this is now the thing is like uh, this is entirely solved by the effect, but the effect only works on attack position monsters. So I got again kudos to my opponent here for actually knowing how to play, or at least like knowing the strat for Melfi Mommy. And not gonna lie, this is kind of stressful because my opponent actually knows how to read, which is uh, a problem. So anyway, here comes Elemental Hero Core. So. I mean, I don't know if it ever, I don't know if it did core just to free up space. Not like it really matters. Get that. So yeah, I'm not gonna let him attack you girls the Phoenix chain. So yeah. I mean, if it's there to, to free up some, you know, free up some space, that's cool and all. But yeah, he can't do crud, and I said I can still do crud against his elements of your core, or like or. It's like, <clears throat> Sorry about that, my throat. Well, anyway, 
I sum okay, so I summon uh, what uh, that I can't pronounce the name very well, and what that does it uh, I could this discard to revive. So with that, I can either synchro or exceed if I feel like it. Now in this case, I decided to exceed into the raccoon exceed, which itself has some crazy nonsense. So here comes one of their numbers, number sixty-four. Number sixty-four, Ronin Raccoon. So it is. So what? So what that this guy does when those are XC, XC material to summon a token whose attacks whose attacks that is whatever the highest there is in the field currently. So I could just put like Lightning Vortex, and that is a Chaz card apparently. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm not to in this case because like again, why would I? I. I I don't think your core has uh, some beefy stats, and I could just, you know, uh, you know, destroy, uh, you know, do some crazy nonsense, you know, with attack points. So, yeah. Again, like you probably see more of the raccoons later, but for right now, that is it for the set. And by the way, Jaden, get freaking Chaz, Chaz it up.